Dear young people, oh boy, you have a lot on your plate. You have a lot on your plate because the biggest job you're going to have is getting old. I think if I were coming up on this road today, I'd fall down. I think it's tough for kids growing up today. You know, all the things that you're comparing and feel that you've got to do, and look, when I was growing up, got dressed, got on the school bus, and went to school. Came home, helped to put the food on the table. Did my homework and went to bed. You didn't update your Instagram? <laughs> when I was young, I thought I knew everything. But I found out I didn't know everything. <laughs> dumbest kid in the world. I think I'm still the dumbest kid in the world. Oh, in my 20s, I didn't care, man. I got shot in my 20s a couple of times, you know. You know, if you pull a gun out on me, you'd have to use it. If you pull a knife out on me, you had to use it. I strive myself on being a tough guy. You know, maybe deep inside I was fearful, but to the public eye, I was the bravest motherfucker that <laughs> ever set foot on the planet. You understand what I'm saying? You know, but I find out that in later life that, uh, you accomplish more by being a gentleman. You know what I mean? I mean, if I can love a person, let me love him. I rather love than hate. One of my best friends told me I should play the piano and never open my mouth to sing. I felt whatever I attempted to do, someone else was better. And I think that was one of the greatest failures that I've ever had. Everyone has an opinion. Some think you're good, some think you're good looking, some think you're ugly, some think you can't do anything. What do you think about yourself? All of my friends were getting married and having children. I was afraid of being rejected by them because I wanted something that none of them wanted. I was afraid they wouldn't like me. That's what I had to learn. Permission to give myself a try. I think I was in my 60s when I just began to wake up and begin to look at me. You know what I mean? And what can I contribute? What have I contributed? Uh, I contribute very little, you know? Learning to love yourself is when you begin to appreciate you. I mean, we all ain't got to be doctors and astronauts. If, you had, if the world was full of astronauts, we'd be twisted for real now, wouldn't we? <laughs> wouldn't you like to go to the moon? If I were younger, I would try to get to see the moon. But not now. I'm just going to sit right home here and talk to my friends. But I have very few that are left. People my age are all dead. I think we all think about death because it's something for sure that's going to happen. But until that time comes, I want to do exactly what I'm doing now. Entertain, make people happy. Maybe after I'm 150, I can't do those things and then I'll slow down. <laughs> I'm going to you can be prepared for this. But know that you're going to be alone again someday. Even if you have someone, it it's not forever. That's the biggest fear in life, is that you're going to end up alone.
We all have fears, but contrary to what you may think or feel, fear doesn't have to own you. If I came face to face with fear, you know what I would do? Kick his ass. That's the Harlem in me coming out. <laughs> Never left me. There's a lot of things in life that I regret, a lot of things that I would change. But there's a fact, man, I wanted to mention that if we keep looking backwards, we miss what's in front of us. Human beings, and we got an opportunity to participate in the greatest show on earth, being alive. Time is a, a funny thing, isn't it? I'm talking now, and if someone sees this or hears this in another 10 or 20 years, I'll be dead. And right now, though, this was my time. We're all in our time right now, and it's fleeting and it's short. But life can be wonderful and growing old. Don't be afraid of it.